What up, y'all? Randy Silver here, Silver Lining. We have the USA Germany recap, FIBA World Cup, tune up game, final game for both teams before the big show starts. USA plays New Zealand August 26th, then they play Greece, who they have another tune up game with already, and then they play Jordan. USA's favorite to win, they're ranked second in the world behind Spain. They beat Spain in a tune up game already, so they should be the odds on favorite to win the World Cup. We're going to dive into the highlights for you here and then dive into the stats so you have an understanding where we're at. Someone is now the key man, the team, the dog. We'll show you who that is. Let's go into the game quickly for you. It was a very back and forth game. This was the first game USA really had to overcome adversity in the sense that they were down big and they had to come back. And it's good for them. They have to do this. This is a young team playing together for the first time. When they have to overcome adversity in when it matters in the World Cup, they're battle tested. And in the first quarter, it was 26-26. And then Germany took a nice lead in the second quarter. So look at this. 3.02 left in the second quarter, up five. In the third quarter, 9.51 left. Now they're up eight. Took that lead up to 11 with 7.38 left in the third quarter. Took that lead up to 14 with 3.48 left in the third quarter. Lead, the biggest it got was 16 points. And then start of the fourth, USA pushes the seven. Four points, excuse me. So we went from down 14 with 348 left to down four early in the fourth. That's a nice 10, 15 point run right there by the United States. And this is where the game got spicy, spicy, spicy. USA goes down six with 735. USA goes down three with 524. USA ties it with 318. USA goes up three with 207. So you can see that Germany's still stuck on 86. Bridges made some big shots here. Rivers made some big shots. And the Mandy Hour, Anthony Edwards, made some big shots as well. Jared Jackson Jr. had a couple blocks on defense. Germany played yesterday. You could tell that the legs got a bit heavy, looked tired. USA did not play yesterday. They played Greece on Friday. So they had a bit fresher legs in the fourth. USA goes up five with a minute 10 to go. USA is now up 9 with 52 seconds left. 18-0 scoring run. So from the moment that we started here, 7.35 to basically right here. Oops. 18-0 scoring run. 86 points to start with. Just absolutely impressive by the U.S. That's how you finish. It shows that the teams engage. They're hyping each other up. The crowd was chanting, go USA. Everybody was really into it. End of the game. 96-91, final score 99-91 USA. There were some massive performances here, so we're going to show you that right now. Let me dive Person in. who played the best in terms of points scored, Anthony Edwards, Ant 34. He's him. Steve Kerr makes strong statement about Anthony Edwards. He is unquestionably the guy. He is our Michael Jordan. He's our Kobe Bryant, RIP, our LeBron James. He is the guy for Team USA. He knows it. But now the team knows it. The fans know it. He believes he's the best player in the gym every single time. And that's what you want from the guy who's going to have the ball in his hands. Go out and dominate. Nobody else in the starting lineup had double digits, which is interesting. Hal Burden off the bench had 16. And Reeves off the bench had 16. This was, again, the same starting five that he's had for every preseason game. So this shows that this is where he's staying with. In terms of Reeves, he has come out. He came out last season. He's coming out even more on Team USA, proving he's more than just a three-point shooter, even though he went for two for two. He's five and nine from the field, made four free throws. He's your sixth, seventh man off the bench. Halliburton is your backup point guard for Brunson. And then based off the performance and who they're playing, when you need someone tall, you can bring in Branchero. You can bring in Kessler. You can bring in Portis. When you need someone a little bit quicker, you can bring in Johnson. You can bring in Hart on the wings. So this is a pretty solid team. I'm going to look at the three-point shooting, how we did. 13 for 29, not a good percentage, 45%. It's okay. Maybe you want a little bit more. 13 threes, not a bad day for a team, but ideally you get over 50% if you're shooting that many threes. Germany, 9 for 31, 29% did not shoot well. Again, they got tired towards the end of the game. 21 three throws given up. Again, it's still high. We talked about this last game, too many free throws given up. They got 26. That means that they're getting to the line, which is good. Overall, if you look at their rebounds, they got out-rebound. Germany's a tall, big team. We have a lot of 
not as necessary big bulky tall people more like skinny athletic tall people germany's got some broad shoulders big bulky people assist 1922 brenton's been killing assists lately only at three this game wasn't his best performance on this team compared to other preseason games let's get into the team stats a little bit deeper to show you again germany won the number of uh, we won the number of field goals three points we won free throws Basically tied, 18 both made. They killed us on the boards, offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds collectively. Assists, they had more. So this was a very good test for us across the board. Only six turnovers. This was a huge issue last game. We had 20-ish, now only six. So they, we kept and took care of the ball, which is great, and made 14 turnovers happen. So overall, pretty, pretty sound win by the U.S. Great to overcome the adversity and, again, be able to – come back and win at the end of the first quarter it was 21 22 at the end of the second quarter 46 54 so we went down eight in the halftime steve kerr giving a halftime speech about being down adversity coming on playing 73 77 only down four so we cut down half in the third quarter which is good and again you saw that was up to like 16 points come out with the 99 91 win so we absolutely came out extremely strong in that second half. Congrats to Team USA. They end the preseason without losing. Now we're on to the FIBA World Cup. New Zealand, Greece, Jordan, all these times are Eastern. So wake up early to watch and you can watch Team USA go after it. First game, New Zealand. Let's get it. You know right here, Silver Lining, we'll have the full recap for you. Randy Silver TV, please like and subscribe. We out until August 26th. Let's go Team USA, deuces.